Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, we're going to be making stylized plants, uh, something that's really going to bring your environments to life. Uh, and it's pretty simple. You don't need too much of an artistic skill. Um, and uh, yeah, these are pretty much the plants you're going to be learning how to make. Just general flowers with just a nice uh, look. There's also these over here. It's just a, a simple yet nice addition to your environments. And it also brings them to life because you, you'll have an environment that's like overly green and then you have certain colors that pop out more such as the yellow flowers the red mushrooms and these red flowers here but before we get into the video make sure to do the usual subscribe like and the rest of it and uh yeah let's get into the video okay so now that we're in blender we can go ahead and just delete all these uh the cube and the camera and stuff like that also my keybinds are on the bottom left uh, in case you want to know what keys I'm pressing and the first things first we're going to just add mesh and plane and we're just going to get the leaf that we want so essentially leaf shape I'm just going to press ctrl r uh, add three loop cuts I'm going to use the mouse wheel here to increase the amount of loop cuts uh just click the move tool and just drag it out just create a general leaf shape to get a basic leaf shape going I generally just do something like this not too complex not too concerned about the uh, the topology and stuff like that and there we go we have a general leaf shape and also we want to bring the middle parts up a little bit using the proportional editing just to get a bit of a curve on the leaf like so and then of course just uh go into tab go into edit mode and then press a to select your entire model and just face shade smooth just to have a nice smoother look now we want to go ahead and uv unwrap this uh, leaf just so we can have an easier time texturing it and all i'm going to do is lock on the z-axis up here just so i can see a uh, top-down perspective uh, press tab to go into edit mode and then press a to select the entire thing and then uv and then project from view now if we go into uv editing up here you can see we have our unwrapped leaf petal here we can just go ahead and move it around. I'm going to move it in this corner here. Now, once I have that done, I want to go ahead and go into shading and then add a new material. Let's name this petal. And then I can go press shift A in here and then click search and add an image texture. Drag the color into base color. And then essentially we're going to make a new texture here. Name this whatever you want. Change the color to whatever you want and then press OK. And now once we've done that, if we go over to texture paint, if we start painting on this texture here, you can see that the color of the leaf is changing here. Now, a cool technique that I use when it comes to making uh, plants and leaves and stuff, I tend to highlight the edges. So for example, if I uh, make the leaf a little bit darker, like so, and then I make my brush lighter, and then just go around the edges like this. You can see it kind of just starts to highlight the edges and just builds the um, the leaf shape a little bit more. And then we can go a little bit lighter, reduce the radius, and then bring that part in here. And then it creates a bit of a gradient and you can just keep going in between here. Like this. Let's create a nice gradient. And then if I want a, an actual flower in the center, what I would do is I'd go get a yellow color and I'll start putting it in the center, the bottom center here, and then get a lighter color go inside of that. You know, nothing too complex, but you get the idea. And then if we go ahead and just shift D and just duplicate that, and then we can just go ahead and rotate this, you start to build a flower like so and then you can rotate like this and you start to develop this really nice flower shape like so and then what's cool about this um texturing method is i can go ahead and duplicate this uh like so and then let's say for this i want to move the uvs over here now this will be entirely white and now i can paint an entirely different texture over here and then you're saving uh, resources and you're more, uh, your game will be more optimized because two assets are using the same texture map, basically. So if I wanted this to be, if I go over to texture paint, I wanted this to be green, for example. I should go ahead and make it a little bit darker, scale up my radius. 
like so then go for a lighter color scale the radius down and just get the edges get again then go for a darker color and just go down the center like so as you can see we're using the same texture but it has a different color and then i can go ahead and just lower this down and just add a base layer of leaves for it to sit on essentially and there you go you have a textured leaf now if i go ahead and clean this up a little bit more and bring these up what you could do is also uh, add and then mesh and then cylinder go for five vertices here just because it's going to be so small that you're barely going to see it so the less poly count the better and then just go ahead and just scale it down like this and then what I tend to do with the top part here is uh, I enable this auto merge vertices and then press S to scale and then zero. And then it brings it in like this. And then I can bring my flower down like this. And then if I want to, I can just join all of these in one. And now this uh, cylinder here will basically uh, adapt the texture map on here. So if I lock onto the Y axis here and then go UV, and then project from view. And then go UV editing. As you can see, we have the stem here. And I can just bring this in here and use the same color map. So now we have a flower with a stem. Now, once you're happy with your uh, asset here, you can go ahead and go to texture paint up here. As you can see, this is my image texture that you're going to need to import into Studio. So you want to go Im here, image and then save as and then save it wherever you want as a png ideally and then hop over to studio also before you hop over to studio uh go ahead and export this as an fbx as well okay so now that we're in studio i can go ahead and import my uh mesh and my texture and as you can see once i've imported it it will bring in my texture with it now if if it doesn't bring in your texture uh like i said earlier if you export your image you can go ahead and just uh, go texture id here and then add image and then find your texture that you exported from blender and just add it there but in my instance it went ahead and imported it for me so now i can go ahead and scale it down and then i can disable collisions and we can go ahead and bring it into the environment i'm going to also tag it as wind shake so it will shake with the environment should probably go ahead and scale it down a little bit more like so perfect and now if i just dash it around the map as you can see it really builds your environments when you add this tiny amount of color to it okay so now the final touch we go ahead and test play real quick and as you can see we have our flower and it's also shaking with the wind shake if you don't know how to do the windshake stuff, check out my uh, other video that tells you how to improve your or how to make amazing uh, stylized environments. It will show you at the end of the video how to make your assets shake. But as you can see, really nice flower to the environment. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and comment. Let me know your thoughts on this video and give me some suggestions on other video ideas. Other than that, that's been it for me. Have a great day. Peace.